Divine Feminine, hello. How are you? I hope you're all doing really well. We're going to tippy tap in and see what spirit wants you to know. We're just going to take a look at where you're at along your journey, your healing journey. And see if any messages wish to come through for your greatest and highest good. Because as you know, when you focus on yourself and your own healing journey, it gets you closer to your life's purpose, your mission, to achieving your certain soul contracts and things like this that you agreed to before reincarnation. And it gets you closer to the big you, <laughs> the big union. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the feminine. Let me just tippy tap in first. Tippy tippy tap tap. You're trying too hard to find yourself is what I'm hearing. You're struggling. You're like trying too hard. It's like you're like overwhelmed with feelings of like panic. Like you need to know and you need to know right now. Okay, one, one, one on the timestamp. Release that. Release the control around needing to know. Release fears around um, the unknown. Okay. This is a journey, a journey of self-discovery. So this is part of it. Part of not knowing is part of this journey. You're going to find the answers that you seek, but be okay with being where you are right here, right now. All right. Be okay with that. And try to like adapt more of like a curious attitude rather than like a desperate attitude of like, I need to know, I need to know, I need to know. Okay. Um, more maybe try approaching it from the standpoint of i wonder you know more of like a question mark rather than like a statement <laughs> you know what i mean like i wonder who i really truly am i wonder why i'm really here and then gently gently allow yourself to go with the flow of life and find out okay Allow your gifts to slowly unfold. Allow certain things to come to the surface to be healed. Allow yourself to be intrigued, inspired, delighted. Allow your inner child out to play. What do we got? What do we got? I feel like bursting into tears. Connect to eternity within. Let yourself be held by love. So it's like you're going within and you're you're reconnecting to your higher self, to your soul, to your purpose. Okay? Just know like you are eternal. You are eternal. My son's sneaking in. Okay. Um, sorry. Allow the love of the divine to hold you allow spirit to hold you feel safe feel secure you are love you are love there's nothing missing there's nothing missing and you're perfect just the way you are sometimes we feel like we're not enough or we we need to seek something out and it's like in those moments we need to remember like we are enough and we are what we seek so we're already home we're, we're we have already been found the mystery has is has been solved so to speak do you know what i mean i hope that makes sense flow with the rhythm Get lost in the rhythm of movement today. So many of you are answering the call to go out, let loose, have fun. Many of you are seeking out community, friends, sisterhood, brotherhood, connections, relationships. Many of you are turning on music and just like dancing in your room, letting your body just move the way it wants without holding it back or restricting it. Like how you would dance when you were a kid and you just didn't care who was watching. You would just move. 
I'm getting shake that body, shake that body. People, don't you know, don't you know it's about time. Can you hammer, jamma, thump it while you taste a piece of mine? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just getting that. Did you dance to that recently? Disappointment is not the end. Aw, yeah, 100%. There is hope even in the darkest of nights. Yeah. When these moments come across us along our path, it's, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to learn something. It's an opportunity to pause, rest, to learn something about yourself. It's an opportunity to get back up and be strengthened by that challenge. And if things don't work out, remember, rejection is protection. If if you don't, whoops, if you don't get that job that you applied for, it's because you weren't meant to be there. Spirit has something better in store for you. If that relationship fell through, it's because it was meant to. There's someone better for you. Okay, so Divine Feminine, I feel like you're really you're really being encouraged to embrace the now to shake things up have some fun laugh play don't be so serious and don't don't let the darkness consume you okay so if you do find yourself slipping into that space move move your body they're saying move your body dance because that's going to going to lift your vibration and reach out because <clears throat> excuse me my throat chakra just went reach out communicate um phone a friend or talk to your spirit guides or something like this like find a community that you can join because i feel like many of you are isolated alone and then you just sort of get stuck in this repetitive cycle of being by yourself and then you're with your thoughts all the time and then it's it's just like it keeps compiling building and building and building so shake up the energy switch it up and Let go of this disappointment because whatever this was, they're saying it wasn't meant for you. It really, truly wasn't meant for you. It wasn't aligned. You thought it was what you wanted, but it turns out it's not. It's not, and that's okay. You can let it go knowing full well that something better will be ushered in. Right, but we've got to let go and make space for the new to, to enter. Okay. Um, water could be very healing for you. Taking sacred baths could be very healing for you. Just being around water. Page of Cups. This to me is letting your inner child out to play and have fun. Explore, laugh, create, learn something new. Get back in touch with things that you, you used to like to do when you were a child. Okay? Your inner child's seeking attention. It's like, hey, have you forgotten about me? Lean into trust. Lean out of fear. Lean into trust. Lean out of fear. Yeah, the strength card. This is having the strength and courage to pursue your dreams and move forward in life, but without pushing, forcing, or rushing anything. It, it talks about going with the flow. You're stronger than you realize. You're way stronger than you realize. 
and it's really time for you to have a rip roaring good time is what I just heard. Go out there and have a rip roaring good time. Put all your troubles behind you. Take all of, all of your troubles, put them in, in like a container or a paper bag. Okay, close the lid, whatever. <laughs> Scrunch up the top of the bag, stick it under your bed for the evening and go out and have some fun, okay? Just put it away, tuck away your, your worries for a while, all right? Because they're all consuming and it's, it's, it's becoming very overwhelming. Yeah, look, the devil, it, they're like all consuming. So that these could be like obsessive, fearful thoughts, obsessive, negative thoughts that really have a hold on you. So break it up, break those chains. Ask Archangel Michael to come in and free you from the confines of fear. This is going over disappointment is not the end. And I just feel like spirit really wants to let you know that this person or this situation or this job or whatever it was, it'll be different for all of you, was not good for you. It was toxic. Okay? It really was not meant for you. So count your blessings is what I'm hearing. Like, thank your lucky stars that that didn't work out. King of Pentacles. So I feel that you're headed towards a whole lot of stability in your life and more relaxing, like more time to relax, more money and more time to chill. So it's a nice balance. You're not going to have to be like just slaving away. Knight of Wands, let your hair down, go out, have fun, sing, play, laugh, join a drumming circle, join a singing group, I don't know, join a, a sport team, whatever you want. But don't, don't let life pass you by because for some of you, you're so hung up on what didn't work out on the disappointments that you're missing your life right now, okay? So Spirit just wants to gently remind you that Yes, you have been through a lot. It was very heartbreaking. It was disappointing, but it was for your greatest and highest good. And acknowledge those feelings, accept how things are right now, let it go and turn your focus to something that will light you up and bring you happiness, okay? Change your focus, follow your heart, follow your passions. Okay. I'm going to move to a different deck. You might be having a sore back. You might be getting, yeah, just like tense muscles and things like that. Because all of a sudden my back feels really heavy and tight. Ooh, soft debt. Cosmic power unlimited potential sacred mission initiation okay it's like here we go it's like you you're going through an initiation you have been woken up you're being brought back online you're starting to realize that you have unlimited potential here because you're reconnecting to that power within right to your higher self to your soul to your divinity to your truth so just keep going. You're going to find why you came here. You're going to discover your mission, your purpose. All right. But in the, in this very moment, um, switch your focus off of that and play and have fun. Okay. It will come to you, but you're on this journey and you can't rush it, push it or force it. All right. So go with the flow, embrace the unknown, embrace not knowing, release control around that and know that the answers you seek will come at the right time. The people that you need to meet will come into your life at the right time. All right? Okay, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. Bye.